If you love tennis YouTube videos, then you need to see this one because I'm about to break down the top channels that you should be paying attention to heading into 2020. These are the top channels that are up and coming YouTubers that have incredible amounts of inspiration and insights and entertainment to offer. I've broken these down into three categories. We're gonna talk about player channels, we're gonna talk about coaching channels, and we're gonna talk about news channels. Let's dive right into players. We're gonna talk about eight different channels here. The first one that I wanna highlight is called Tennis Brothers. These two, Lucian and Felix, are two brothers in the UK who are high-level junior players and I love their content. These are all channels, by the way, that I personally subscribe to, I personally follow because I love their content. Just a couple of days ago, these guys uploaded a video. Let me, let me find it for you. Here we go. A day in the life of a junior tennis pro. He uploaded this a week ago and it's got 114,000 views, which is incredible for a tennis YouTube channel. So this basically just breaks down his life in the day for him training as a junior player. He's talking about his goals, he wants to play college tennis in the United States, and then he just goes through and kind of in vlog style, shows the different training drills that he does for his strokes, shows his fitness that he does, his mobility and how he works on his body, his balance and everything else. And both of these guys, just overall, really incredible content, incredible attitudes. They're not trying to like pose and like be YouTubers and act cool or anything like that. Like they're super down to earth kids and I just love watching their videos. Plus they're great tennis players and it's gonna be a lot of fun following them as they develop as players. In particular, if they start playing more international and you know college tennis, who knows, maybe low level professional Tennis, we'll see. But no matter what, Lucian and Felix, I love your videos. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you guys are doing an incredible job. The next channel I wanna show you is called 10 Fit Men Tennis. And this one has 29,000 subscribers. I've been following this guy for, I, th I think, at least a year. Uh, I'm blanking on his name right now. Milan. Milan? Sorry, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm probably not pronouncing it right. But Milan, incredible player. Uh, I think he played low-level professional tennis. And what he's uploaded recently that's been really fascinating, along with some great vlog material, is that he's the practice partner for a lot of elite world-class players. And there was one series that he did in particular where he trained with Novak. Let me find that for you really quick. This was at the Shanghai Masters in 2018. And he just sets a camera out and records his hitting session with, with players. And so this is Milan and Novak over on the other side. Again, totally, really apologize if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly, I'm sorry. I don't think I've ever heard you say your, your own name actually. And so he's an incredible player. And you see him playing out points and mostly he's, he's what he publishes is warm-up footage of him training with players. Uh, he's hit with Sissipas recently, he's hit with Medvedev, um, he's Serbian, so I think that's part of the reason why Novak has chosen to hit with him a couple times to warm him up. He's an incredible player, and it's great to see him address the camera, and kind of like the Tennis Brothers, just be a real human. Like Even though he's incredibly talented, and he has a lot of great insights about the game and how to get better, and great inspirational stuff, him working out, uh, showing what he does to get himself in shape for tennis. He goes out and plays tournaments. He talks about his losses and the struggles. Like that, that's the kind of content that I really love to consume. And so uh, this channel is really incredible. All right, this next one, Operation Liftoff. I wish these guys would upload more. Alex and Lazar, um, these two vlog their life on the challenger circuit. So these guys are playing low level professional tournaments and all they do is just document their, their journey. They, they talk about the struggles, the challenges of traveling from country to country, training with each other, entering tournaments. And it's just, again, just kind of all access pass to what 
life is really like for these guys. It's a struggle. It's a grind. And it's incredible to see players who are out there really doing it and trying to make a living out of being a, a professional tennis player. And so you'll see points. Uh, you'll see them addressing the camera and talking about how their matches are going and just incredible insights into what it's really like. And approved by the World Anti-Doping Agency. <laughs> here here they're, they're talking about you know, drug testing and anti-doping -doping, you know, stuff, getting tested after a match at a tournament. These are the types of stories that I think tennis fans need to hear and need to be exposed to because they don't understand what it really takes to be a world-class tennis player. So Operation Liftoff, big thumbs up. I hope they start uploading more in 2020. All right, next up, if you watch tennis on YouTube, you should know about this, but maybe you haven't. Stefanos Sissipas has been uploading videos for a little while now, and what's interesting about his videos is that he goes very much into like the artistic, he's doing drone footage, he's doing time lapses, he's doing slow motion, he's addressing the camera. It's very much in like the, the popular like YouTube vlog type of format. Operation Liftoff, they do a little bit of that as well. But you know, Sissy Paz has different levels of access and finances to be able to really, really make his videos really cool. And so, He's into you know showing his travel adventures. Um, he doesn't talk a ton about tennis, but he, he does here and there about his training. But more, it's it's kind of his downtime, and you get to see behind the scenes of what he's doing, traveling from from Keep tournament to tournament. Well, we're doing. <laughs> Thank you once again for watching. And what you see there, Please like subscribe. he's leaving. Uh, he's a professional athlete, there. and he's a young guy. But he's still leaving in like his mess ups and his screw ups. And again, this is, I guess you can kind of see a theme here. I love vulnerability in YouTube content. And in particular, somebody like Stefanos, who's like really exploded over the last 12 months or so. Uh, it'd be easy for him to be pretentious and uh, have it feel like really kind of disconnected and perfect. But he does a fantastic job just being a real human being. And so I, I love watching his videos. So those are my favorite player YouTube channels. Let's take a look at tennis news. That, no joke, this is where I get my tennis news from, is from two different YouTube channels. In other words, like keeping up with like who's winning, who's losing. My favorite one is Coffee Break Tennis. Uh, Matt Bradshaw, he's been doing this for a little while now, 9,000 subscribers currently. If you don't subscribe to Matt, then you really, you just, you just should. He's made like a show out of this. He's created a, a persona and a personality around his show that he does. Well, the Rolex Shanghai Masters is finally and here and it's special time It's here. like watching an ESPN type show. Uh, even though it's just a, a one man show, as far as I'm aware, just Matt doing the shooting, the editing, um, he makes it feel like we're watching something much more, I don't want to say professional, but he's so well researched. He knows exactly what he's talking about. He knows the stats. Uh, he knows who's beating who. He knows why. He's really insightful on the, the deep statistics of what's happening on the court. So frankly, I've learned a lot about the game of tennis from watching these, but at the same time, he works really hard to keep it super lighthearted and entertaining. Um, he's got like nicknames he has for all the players, and he just makes it super, super entertaining and insightful at the same time. I mean, the guy, he sings songs. Let me see if I can find a song for you. Uh, let's see, Coffee Break Tennis, he did a really, and he'll do like voices from players. Let me see if I can find, <laughs> here we go. Team, team calls in. Drop shot. I, in Monte Carlo, we saw... There go. I'm sorry for all those times I called you a one-dimensional player because uh, you look like the king of the drop shot. I mean, you had so much variety. You looked incredible in that win over Rafa Nadal. Sure, Matt. Well, Matt. I could sense how far back I push Rafa with my gross and forehand. <laughs> and to quote that little girly mention from YouTube's Rebecca Schwartz who actually inspired me to start my own yeah. YouTube's channel. I stick it in my cup. This is my moment. Oh, I hit well, the drop let's, let's take... 
Und it inspired me like that little girly mage on the scene. Rebecca Black, she's great. This, this is Matt doing both so, uh, voices. It's, back. it's pretty incredible. The Occasionally he gets in like replays, but yeah, a lot of times those back. videos get blocked, back. which is really Locked frustrating. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we can um we can put Rafa back in a uh, in slow motion. Look, you're right, Dominic. Uh, Rafa looks very angry. Uh, let's put that on the screen. Yeah, he's so uh, pissed right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's uh he's very upset. You're right, Dominic. Um, another Dominic, another thing. Uh, so I love Matt. You're doing an incredible job. I'm actually I don't even know if you realize it, Matt, but I've been a Patreon. I've been supporting you financially for a little while because I just really believe in. Stupid <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Matt, I don't even know if you know this, but I'm one of your pa Patreon supporters because I just believe in independent media bringing insights, bringing news, and especially with this level of depth to it and entertainment at the same time, you you've got to subscribe to Matt at Coffee Break Tennis. Really incredible channel heading into 2020. Can't wait to see what he does in 2020. The other news channel that I love is called The Slice. Uh, blanking on this guy's name right now. Sorry. It's Stefan or Steven? Hey guys, Steven here with the slice. Steven. Coming at <laughs> so Steven's done an incredible job over the last year or so. He doesn't upload as much as uh, Matt does, but he does a similar kind of show where uh, it's direct to camera. He's speaking into a mic. He does a little bit of um, review footage and replays, um, a lot of opinion, and uh, giving his insights and his uh, 10 cents about what's going on in the tour. And plus, what Steven does that's unique and different from anybody else that I've seen is he's actually traveled around to the tournaments and he's received um, media credentials to go and talk to players. And so he's got interviews with pl top players that are really incredible. He's on a high pass. And that was a that was a tough loss for him. And at this point, at the slice, we were saying, if look, if this doesn't turn around, Steven's twice, a younger guy, so uh, a little bit different perspective uh, from Matt. No offense, Matt. You know, I'm I'm an older guy too. So I, I like hearing Steven's perspective and hearing his thoughts uh, on the professional game. And again, like really kind of open, and he's having fun with it. And so between Matt and Steven, is literally the only place that I get tennis news, occasionally scrolling, you know, on Facebook, but I don't do a whole lot of that. So when I, whenever I see them upload a video, this is really mostly where I get my, my news from. All right, now let's finish up with the third category and that's instruction. I want to talk about two newer channels that I think are doing an incredible job. The first one is Racket Flex. I can't tell you how impressed I am with these guys. It's a, it's a team of guys and they're the quality of these lessons that they create is incredible. Um, how they put together slow motion uh, along with voiceover and explanation. They just come about it in a fresh new way that's really different from like your normal online tennis lesson. And the way that they put together all the different layers and elements of their tutorials, it's very dense information, very visually interesting and like fun and engaging to watch. Like you're never bored watching one of their lessons and they're really good players as well. Let me find one of their more kind of sexy videos so I can show you a good example. Wow, yeah, so they just started uploading, oh, actually, let me see. Yeah, they just started uploading a year ago, that's crazy. For, for them to be doing this quality of content in a year is, is really amazing. And so, like, here's their most viewed uh, video. <laughs> you can see they're, they're great athletes. Like, they strike the ball really impressive. Like, they look like, you know, the type of player that everybody wants to watch on YouTube. Like, they, they make it look sexy. They, they make it look impressive. They make it look aggressive and hard and offensive when they're demonstrating that type of thing. And so um, that combined with how dynamic their, their videos are, you can tell this is an older one, actually. Their newer ones are, I mean, that's great. They're, they're all great videos, but the, the graphics and the, the details 
that they're putting into their newer videos are really incredible. So highly recommend you subscribe to these guys. They're killing it in terms of the quality of their information and the quality of the media and the content that they're creating. Highly recommend that you subscribe to RacketFlex. The next coaching channel that I'm really impressed by, they've just dove in and really started taking online lessons seriously about a year ago. That's Play Your Court. And this is a, a duo of Scott and Nate and they do incredible work together. Uh, the two of them, what really makes them unique is not only are they providing a great deal of value in their lessons, which, which you, know, you can find out there, but what really makes them unique is the two of them have a great rapport together. They keep it really light, they keep it uh, funny, they, they keep it entertaining, they kind of like ribbing each other back and forth, and so while they take providing insight really seriously and they provide a lot of practical valuable information they also keep it really really fun to watch and that's not always easy to pull off i know that i know that from experience nate and scott incredible job and everybody watching i highly recommend that you check out playercourt.com so those are my top channels to check out heading into 2020 those are the ones I'm keeping my eye on. Which ones did I leave out? Let me know down below in the comments, who did I leave out that I absolutely should have made sure to mention here in this lesson. These are the ones that I enjoy the most, but I'd love to know who you enjoy the most as well. There's so much great content now, it's incredible. So we're super lucky to have access to all of these incredible personalities and minds and teachers to be able to learn from and also players to be able to follow and aspire to and be inspired by. All of you who I featured in this video, thank you for what you're doing. I love that there's other incredible creators out there and I'm looking forward to continuing to work hard with all of you to elevate the level of what we're publishing on a daily basis.